We're the competition team from Amro UAVs and we're here to give a quick demonstration of getting a simulator up and running and using Mav SDK to perform a basic task. All right, cool. So getting started uh, setting up a simulation environment to develop with Mav SDK is actually pretty simple. So first of all, you'll want to clone firmware uh, from github.com slash px4 slash firmware. That's where the firmware is hosted. Uh, I've already done it for the sake of time. The easiest way to get started is with Docker. So on the PX4 docs, you'll find this Docker command. Uh, so run this outside, mount the firmware, uh, as I've done here. And you'll probably want to specify network equals host so that all the Mavlink messages can get through. All right, and then uh, this will drop you into a root shell. Uh, I mounted it into slash firmware, so I'll go there. And then uh, you can uh, make the simulation target, like so. Um, so, oh, uh, you'll want to xhost plus. So if you haven't run it, xhost plus so that you can see this. Um, but yeah. And so once you've done that, the easiest way to control uh, via Mav SDK is, I think, via the Python bindings. So here I've already cloned uh, the official Mav SDK Python examples. So as you can see, uh, it's actually quite simple. He just uses Python's async syntax uh, with a pretty intuitive API. Uh, so just make sure it's connected. The SIDL should be running on localhost 14.540 for off-board connections like, Ma like Mav SDK Python. Uh, make sure that you have uh, the Python bindings installed, obviously. Pip3 install Mav SDK. I've already installed it. And then you can run this script and it will connect. It should take off. And you'll see over here that it should take off. And then it will land. Another thing to keep in mind is since PX4 runs Mavlink on both 14.550 for ground control and 14.540 for offboard, you can have Mav SDK Python running on one 14.540 port. And you can simultaneously have two ground control running on 14.550 to actively monitor. We can see actually the live status of our drone in queue ground control. So you'll see that it takes off and then it lands again. One more thing to know is that you can use a router like Mavlink router, uh, like Intel's Mavlink router in order to proxy uh, Mavlink messages from one port to multiple clients. So for example, here, what I've done right here is I have proxied uh, all the traffic on 14.550 to both 14.551, which is where Mavlink, uh, or sorry, Mav SDK Python is connected, uh, as well as to port 14.552, uh, where I will now connect QGround control. Uh, it'll complain that 14.550 is in use because the router's got it, but I'm going to manually connect it to the UDP link on port 14.552. You'll see it connects just fine. And then I can run this example. As a club, we've come a long way from our humble beginnings. This year, our team is participating in the NXP Hover Games Challenge and their larger goal is the 2021 AUVSI SUAS competition, a student competition where fully autonomous UAVs perform a variety of certain tasks. In this, we could be one of the only high schools in the entire competition. With that, we hope you enjoyed, and thanks to all of those who have supported our club over the years.